my Instagram friends. Welcome, welcome. Happy new moon. It is the new moon in Leo going on, taking place, and all those things today. Um, specifically, <clears throat> I don't know, it's not telling me the time here anyway. Whatever. Happy new moon in Leo. Hope you guys are feeling very heart centered, heartfelt energy today. Remember to organize, replenish, all those good things. That's about as much as I will go into the new moon simply because I only provide that information on my Patreon. So if you guys are interested in me going more in depth and in detail about the astrological influences and things that are going on, definitely feel free to hop over there and subscribe. I love my little patrons. I don't want to call them little, but <laughs> I do love them. Anywho, here is a reading. I've got so many new products in, on my, uh, what do you call that thing? On my Etsy. So feel free to go take a peek. I've got throat chakra lip scrubs. I have, I'm going to be making some lip balms as well. So those will be out. I've got some new candle stuff coming in that I just ordered. I'm really excited about, so be on the lookout. Some Halloween-y type stuff coming, some stickers, some new really, really jazzed up candles that I've been doing. So, you know, feel free to take a peek and see. But otherwise, here we go. Three cards for the day. Step away from the crazy making diet for a hot second. Kale and spirulina taste like ass. Eat some yummy shit. Bacon, chocolate, beer, get some. Just making sure because my camera's set up. I don't know if it's in focus. But yeah, I've been seeing a lot of people <laughs> do their diets and things. Uh, whether that be the military diet where you're only eating, what, a grapefruit and some water or something. Or the keto diet or the vegan diet or whatever diet it is. I think what I've learned, I back in the day a few years ago lost over 100 pounds myself and I personally did so just by I didn't do a diet or anything because the more I researched the more I realized that the diets didn't really work and a lot of the reports that people have given me and that I have been seeing in my own research was that people tend to revert back to their old habits very easily and just gain all of the weight back or gain a large portion of it back and that is even harder to lose. Um, I'm no nutritionist, but I'm just speaking from experience of a, losing over 100 pounds or so. So what I know worked for me was not a diet, and it was a lifestyle change. It was realizing that I needed to incorporate healthier foods, incorporate more herbs, learn how the foods heal the body instead of just subscribing to a diet style or system that you know eventually you're not going to want to stick to over time because it has certain diets have a way of limiting you. I think they can definitely be beneficial in small spurts where you're doing a cleanse or something of that nature, but making a whole diet last for an amount of years unless you're wanting to make it your lifestyle, I don't think it's necessarily, me personally don't think it's necessarily feasible for a complete transformation. So. Maybe taking a reassessment and thinking of how you can change your lifestyle. Because you can do all the working out and drink all the green juice and think you're doing all of these diets but still be very unhealthy and keep all of this weight and baggage on you because the weight and baggage that you have, or the baggage that you have, I guess I should say, the weight that you are trying to lose, is not physical. It is very much emotional and spiritual and mental. And so a lot of us hit these plateaus because it's like there are all these things happening within ourselves and we are kind of not addressing the root of the issue. We are taking care of the surface of it. So thinking of how you can conjoin both of those things and create a lifestyle out of it rather than just subscribing to a diet. So consider that. But either way, you do you. Stop trying to change people. That shit never works. Making sure. Just got a new setup, so gotta make sure. But you do you. 
you know otherwise you do you forget about all these people telling you about what diet you should be starting and how you should be doing it you know even me take everything with a grain of salt um, and just live intuitively I think what really saved me in my relationship with food not that it was ever a bad one but I was maybe for a period of two years kind of flowing through this period of trying to know what am I supposed to be eating what is best for my body and then I found a book that spoke a lot about intuitive eating and it was someone who had been a very very strict vegan realized that she was going about it in a way that was kind of depleting her health and so she changed up her health or her eating habits and even the way that she was eating then was still kind of depleting her health so she had to switch it up again but she was being very intuitive about it regardless and instead of subscribing to all these different ideas and people telling her how she should be eating, what's the healthiest way, um, she decided to listen to her body. And so through her listening to her body, she went through these transitions in this journey of learning how to heal self. Even though it was a lot of trials and errors, errors and trials and tribulations, she, I think, now finally got to a point where she's understanding where she's at with herself. So that's important. So if you don't listen to anyone or anything, you do you, but recognize when your intuition is trying to tell you this might not be it, but it's okay to rebel because fuck it. So I feel like <laughs> if not anything, this is speaking most to the fact that it's okay to have cheat days. It's okay to have days where you are able to just feed your soul and eat things that make you happy your relationship to food your relationship with your body your relationship with the material shouldn't be something that feels scary or intimidating or limiting it should feel like something that's liberating liberating because we are here for the experience we are not here to limit ourselves and to feel like we have to have all these restraints and especially if you're a spiritual being if you flowed through being a vegetarian and then being completely keto and then flowed through being a vegan and etc. You know that spiritual beings, spiritual people are very fluid people. We go with our intuition. So when our intuition says to veer off onto this road, it might look weird and crazy to everyone else and everyone might be screaming from the sidelines like, hey, those aren't your morals. This isn't what you said you were going to do. But it's like, I wasn't here to please all these people in the first place. You're here to do you. So making sure that even if you are going down a different road because your intuition is telling you to do so, listen to that. Forget all these external voices that are like, hey, shouldn't you be doing this? I thought you said you were going to be doing this. Just do you. <laughs>